Salford City. They're in need of a new manager. Dear Dr. Benji FM, Sorry I can't be there today. Hopefully this letter will be an adequate replacement. I went to see how Phil was getting on in Spain and well, they offered me the job at Valencia. They love Manchester United legends here in the sun. That probably explains how David Moyes ended up at Real Sociedad. Anyway, as you know, our previous chairman, Karen, relinquished her role. So we had to get a replacement. She's well-travelled, speaks a number of languages and she even spoke quite highly of you. Michelle Obama is the new chairman of Salford City. No, not Michelle Obama. She does send congratulations on the new job though. Of course she does. Bloody Michelle. God, I can't get enough. All you have to do now is look up and listen <laughs> with love with care <sighs> that's to gary neville valencia manager and salford owner i don't remember gary neville getting a knighthood all you have to do now is look up and listen i've been here five minutes now sorry ben don't... i was running late not you you can't be no you're the chairman you're the new one are you it's you yes yes i am manchester is lovely do you not think it's not bad I mean, I've been here a little while now, getting used to it slowly. Um, oh my. Anyway, I cannot hang around <laughs> and chat. Okay, I'm right, a fine. busy lady these days. All oh, right, still doing the serial killer like things, are you? Okay, good. Right, well, I won't keep you. Goodbye, oh, right. Benji. See you tomorrow. Tomorrow. This is daily, is it? Brilliant. Can't, cannot wait. Oh, one more thing. One more thing. What? Go on. Spit it out. What is it? I have not yet met the players, <laughs> but as we got on so well at Palmer, I thought it'd be best if you let them know I've taken over. Yeah, I think it's best I handle that. I'll let them know what you like. Don't worry one about more thing. one more thing. I got you Two a things, welcome then. gift. It's under the desk. Gift? That's... Send a candle. Joker. Run the intro. Here we are. It's official. The Salford City story. Well, actually, it's the Salford story. That's what we're calling it. The Salford story. No dramatic intro, unlike the Manchester United save. Uh, so, well, it still did it. It's, it's going to be like that forever, isn't it? Okay, never mind. Uh, personal message from Google Translate. She's let me know that things are looking good. I'm on a £575 contract. This is the first time on my channel I've ever done a lower league management save. If you are excited, please do leave a like, share the video. Obviously, it's a new start to a new series, so we can start the journey here and continue on forever and for always. So um, I'm excited. It's the first time, as I say, I've done a lower league save. It's a different experience, a different journey for me. I'm sure there'll be people that have done it before, and I'm sure there's people that want to do this save. So there's a database in the description down below you can take uh, charge of a lower league save Salford are in the seventh tier uh, a big thanks to FM Steve who set up the database and did it all as I say description uh, of the video you can find all you need to know so obviously do do that after you've left a like like go down in that order like database there we are happy days so I've actually got a one year contract so this could be a very short save who knows uh, let's take a little look at the squad then see what we've got to work with there'll be some familiar faces I'm sure okay important to note actually as we start this save that I've added uh, players to teams not all teams in the lower depths of the database have players, which does mean uh, we've got a couple of regions as well that we'll, uh, we'll find out more about as we progress. Craig Tidy being the main one. more of the, well, the One of the most exciting ones, uh, 16 years of age, got a bit of potential about him. We'll see how we get on. But I had to do that, so uh, all the teams had enough players uh, for the start of the season. Of course, we'll be signing a few free transfers, and these players in particular won't feature too much in the first season anyway, so it's not a great deal. Uh, it's not a big deal great deal this is the team you can see in front of you a few familiar faces i think danny weber may well be the most famous of all of them uh gareth said and obviously was a big part of the documentary if you've not seen that i do recommend it uh, Stephen o'haran o'haran even there uh, has got some caps from northern ireland so a few decent players in there players we can certainly use this season uh, and get the best out of richie allen another one who i hope will uh, be very good for me this season stats will be relative uh, i'm going to change the colors actually for next episode to make sure that we can see it was sort of the better attributes at this level and as we go up i'll change them uh, based on that so it should be fun i'm looking forward to it if we take a quick look at the squad depth you can see that attacking wise we're pretty good we're not too bad at all we've got something to work with and i think that's what's important uh, going further back though that's where i'm gonna have to strengthen uh, in this off season and next episode you'll see those players that i decide to bring in as i mentioned we're in the evo stick northern premier league division uh, which is as i say the seventh tier of english football you start uh, amongst the ukrainian leagues which 
who wouldn't want to be there? Uh, so in this division, we'll be playing the likes of Darlington, one of the uh, well, probably one of the bigger teams in this. Whitby are in there as well. Matlock Marine, uh, Hyde are there too. Grantham, some some teams you won't normally see in a football manager save, and I think that's what's going to make it exciting. Hopefully. We can fulfil all the dreams. Obviously, the, the past winner of this tournament was FC United, a team that we've got a strong rivalry with from the off, let me tell you. There's not only two teams in Manchester, there's four. There's them, us, and the bigger boys that at some point, I'm sure, we'll be facing off against. Our balance is 104,000. Obviously, when we bring players in, that's going to go up and down. We're going to have to try and sort of do a bit of risk-reward strategy, though you bring players in to get you to the next level, but at the same time, not crushing the club into a, a furious amount of debt. So hopefully, I'm excited. I mean, you, can, you maybe can feel my excitement. I'm looking forward to this save. It's something that I've wanted to do for a long time. I've talked about it for a long time, and now I get the chance to do it. Um, this is going to be a lot of episodes of a single save. Uh, so next episode, we'll look at a few friends. These, I'll show you the players that we're going to get into. This is a very much an introduction, shorter episode uh, to the Salford City save. Um, it's not going to be this is how it is, let's start the season. It's going to be look, let's go through this bit by bit, uh, and then as we get into it, we'll do sort of every fourth game, we'll, uh, we'll do a new video. So I'm excited for it. I think this is going to be good fun. In terms of formations and things like that, it's again something I'm going to have to look at. I've already looked at maybe privately to have a little idea of what we can do. Um, but yeah, it's going to be. It's going to be a learning process. So, in tomorrow's episode, we will play uh, Colwyn Bay, Frickley, and Mickleover. You don't get that every day. Three games we'll kick off with some transfers, and then three games in the, the Evo Stick Northern Premier League. Or maybe we'll play York. Do you know what? Tomorrow's episode is a mystery. I don't know what it's going to be, and neither do you. And that's why you should come back. Now then, Gareth, me and you, we're going to have a long and prosperous career here together. Yes, you've been here a season before. Yes, you feel like you've got your feet under the table. But believe me, at 35 years of age, you need instant performances to keep you in this team. Not just, oh, that was good, Gareth. You scored a goal. One in five matches. No, hat-tricks every game. Thank you. Next one. Mr. Lynch, Mr. Dootson, I shall compare you. Right, you two. I don't know which one's better yet. By the looks of things, it's probably Jay. But look, you've both got a chance to impress me. That's what friendlies are for. Either way, me and goalkeepers have a special relationship. I sell them, I bring them in. I get angry, I sell them, I bring them in. That's just how it works. You two have got a big responsibility. Keeping the ball out of the net. Thank you. Stephen, Stephen, Stephen. Where did it all go wrong? The Republic of Ireland. Aston Villa. I mean, admittedly, I wouldn't want to stay there either. But to come here, it, it went wrong, didn't it? It went very, very wrong. Now, it says you're a left-back, and maybe you are, but you will be played all over this pitch. Let me tell you, a former Premier League player, mate. Nonsense. Danny Webber, started at United, Watford, Sheffield United. Think you're big time, do you? Think you're good? Well, I'll be the judge of that. We will be the judges of that. I want to see performances. Again, I've already told Gareth, you can't just come in here, Billy Big Bollocks, thinking you're all that. No, 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 no. I want goals. I want plenty of them, and I want success. The drop down Mr. Webber had was, oh my. So there we are then. I've met a few of them. I think I think it's looking good. Okay, board expectations. We can do this before we leave. Uh, I think reach pro promotion playoff. That sounds about right. Winning the league, maybe, but they are newly promoted, so maybe not. Uh, in terms of the FA Cup, it's a shame we can't say that we'd win it because I think we probably would do. Uh, the Carlsberg FA Trophy. Do you know what? I'm going to keep everything as it is. Lower, lowest expectations possible, and then I will impress everybody let's meet the, all of the players i've met a few of them individually but let's meet all of them uh, i know that many of you have not heard of me so i wanted to introduce uh, that seems unlikely i want to take the opportunity to introduce myself much better i think we're good enough to go up as champions this year i'm not gonna i'm not gonna give them too much no just there we are second option always the best option that's exactly the sort of reaction i was after there we are then spirits are high i've gone in there i've done a job i'll, I'll just talk to the captain chris lynch skipper idol all right uh, if you don't mind me asking, what's the opinion of the, of the lads' morale right now? Everyone's getting along really well. We've got a great togetherness. Well, I'll be part of that. Big hugs. Big hugs all round. Okay, as you can see, the contract situation is a lot of players have one-year deals. Hopefully, we can keep them throughout the save. These are the men that start the journey. These are the men that matter. Uh, so, we've got, to, we've got to keep hold of them. Keep hold of... Oh, we, we keep Bernard. Bernard is like a part of a joint managerial system at Salford. And Bernard stayed with me. Hopefully, he's loyal. Otherwise, we're going to have to replace him. Right, I think that's that. I think we're done here. So then, that was just a short introduction into the Salford story. Uh, stay with it. Hopefully, you'll enjoy it. If you've enjoyed so far, do leave a like if you like that intro. I thought it was, uh, you know, got a letter here. Maybe I could give the letter away. Maybe if anyone wants to take a picture, me and the letter. There we are, look. Uh, official. It was an official letter in some regards from uh, Sir Gary Neville. So yeah, 
If you want to see more, subscribe to the channel. If you enjoyed today's video, please leave a like. And until next time, we love with care. From me, Dr. Benji, it's my saying, not Gary's. I'll see you again. Goodbye. Oh, and also, starting a new save. So what I'm going to do uh, this week is give away a copy of Football Manager. There is a tweet in the description down below uh, near the database somewhere. Retweet that, give me a follow, and uh, you will enter yourself into the giveaway. There we are, then. We love with care from Dr. Benji. Until next time, goodbye.